black and white spaces and what seems to be like ghosts or spirits which are coming forward through a tunnel with the eyes of three women focused on a target. The target that is the visitor who is looking at the painting or us. In the faces of the three women, there are no live expressions, nor in their eyes, while their outstretched hands downwards seem as if some hidden forces are pushing them along with the three women toward us. While viewing this painting's various aspects, it seems to enclose a mysterious spiral movement, a movement which is coming from its depth outwards, and a question mark which begins with the arch above the heads of the three women and which goes with the golden yellow color down the bright veil of the woman who is on the right to end in the base of the dress of the woman who is in the middle. This painting includes many dark and mysterious details which suggest that it can be considered as a painting of horror. In fact, the distribution of colors in it almost in their entirety build a general mood which is dominated by coldness. The coldness of the three women's gazes, which the heaviness and the slowness of their movement forward accentuate more. These women seem, in the general perspective of this painting, to belong to a high society. As regards their clothes, the yellow gold color on their heads the jewels which adorn their chests and the trimming of their dresses with muslin and silk as well as the embellishment of their edges and sides with lace. It seems indeed that they belong to the European aristocracy. The arch above them also reminds us of the luxurious salons of the European palaces and of the Abbasid, the Ottoman and the Andalusian ones during their golden ages. However, the predominance of darkness in the painting, the scarcity of touches of pure white in it, the black dresses, and the prevalence of the grey color over the white spaces indicates all that the atmosphere in this painting is of night time, or a night which is gothic par excellence. The black and grey indications of this atmosphere and of the gothic tendency abound in our painting like the choice and distribution of colors, for example, the geometry of shapes, the lack of balance between white and black, where blackness besieges the rare touches of white and where the gray shadows encircle and lock up all the spaces of light. There is certainly a clear suggestion of this atmosphere in the distribution of colors and shadows in inns which show that its time frame is nocturnal and that its deep soul is terror and horror. This is a painting which celebrates blood in the manner of the Gothic rituals in the Western culture. The presence of the red color seems to deepen this ominous atmosphere as it ascends from the feet of the women who, in their posture with their hands hanging down, resemble the trees which furnish the spaces of horror in the Gothic literature and movies. As it clambers in the painting on the dresses of the three women and seems to nourish them by chasing the suffocating purple color from their bodies and from their faces. The painting aims in its entirety gives us a delicious impression of disease which invites us to go through it against our will, especially for a man. But, as we read this painting with its gothic touch, aren't we entitled to ask ourselves what the selection of the dark colors, the presence of the serious red color in it, the distribution of the shadows, the arch, as well as the appalling slow motion movement forward, which seems to come out from the depths of this painting towards us, aren't we entitled to ask ourselves what do they all mean? What does this dark abundance or this predisposed inspiration mean in the Arab sphere of art? What does it imply in the painting of Jawahir al-Sayyid, the creator of this work of art in special lines 
colors and shadows. This Saudi visual artist, whose name is well known to all those interested in the movement of visual art in the Gulf region, where she actively interacts with her peers in this field and further in the Middle East as well as in Europe. What is a painting which attaches a Victorian influence to it with all its terrifying Gothic shape? What is it trying to convey to us as a message in the language of colors and forms, in movements and in the inclinations of lines and finally with the struggle of light in it against darkness. When we look at the paintings of the artist Jawaira Singh, who is a strong rebel and who is remarkable in her plain interactions, notably in choosing to draw paintings which most of them are inspired from the works of arts of the Victorian era in Europe, and with her interest and her penchant for the Ottoman architecture, when we look at her paintings, doesn't it seem to us that she, in fact, adopts a principle and a spirit of soft revolution, or let's say, a spirit of an artistic revolution against the current conventional and stagnant reality by invoking the reasons which were behind the renewal and development of the West and the uprooting of the Islamic civilization. Doesn't it seem to us that she shouts out loud by means of bizarre gothic rebel colors in the face of the stagnant state of our civilization which we endure and seem to perpetuate and in the face of the male dominance that is not doing enough effort to change this state of ill being nor seems to work genuinely towards the taking up again of the torch of human civilization by the Islamic culture. Won't we, the artist seems to say, get rid of our complex of fascination with the West? Won't we pay bigger attention to our artists, to our men of literature and science, and to our thinkers, be them Arabs, Persians, Turkish, or of any ethnicity or nationality? Statistically studying this painting, we find out that the details in it are numerous, details of various aspects of liveliness and rebellion in a high feminine spirit which challenges male dominance and yearns to impose beauty on the world in colors as if our artist craves to ask men to step back to arm themselves with humility and to dare to listen to women who tell them that it is women who have practically adorn the face of the world alongside with men in its most quantum leaps and important qualitative changes and stages of progress, whether through their presence in the palaces of various past civilizations or by their support for the greatest and most famous philosophers, thinkers, scientists and men of genius in all areas. The paintings of the Saudi artist Jawahar al-Sayyid through Ims as an example, are considered for the most part of them as a shield which our artist holds in one hand to resist male dominance, to devote her other hand to her brush and to all the weapons of soft strikes with colors which are at her disposal so as to paint or write with them and with light, a message which she entitled Ims. Ims Although it apparently gives the impression to be an imitation of foreign art, it is actually a painting in which the Saudi visual artist Jawahir al-Sayyid painted in a great spirit of artistry and originality. The message which is implied in it, the structure of which is built with paints, where its reliefs are drawn by movements of wiping and sliding colors, says in her name, Take a break, all men, and be proud of your hoods, as did the Westerners, who dared to start again from within your Abbasid, Ottoman, and Andalusian architecture. There and who had Arabs and of all ethnicities and nationalities combined, as Muslims all, to lay new foundations from the old ones, so as to accomplish an Islamic breakthrough with modern facets and with new global orientations, and to map out a decisive look back to make possible a good start forward 
which would make us recover our true, authentic identity and which would make possible a new conquest of the world by means of thoughts and beauty.